Welcome to the video tutorial series on modding simple planes. In this video we are going to cover the tools needed to create mods and then we are going to create a bare bones basic mod and load it into the game. Uh, to get started head to the modding wiki page on the simple plane subreddit. Here we can see a list of tools we need for modding the game. First and foremost you're going to need a copy of Unity 5. The free version will work fine. Here we want to use the personal edition, which is free. Okay, I now have Unity 5 installed on my PC. For most mods, you'll need to edit code at some point. Unity 5 comes with a free IDE called Mono Develop. This works fine, though I personally recommend downloading and installing Visual Studio. Our modding wiki has a link to Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition. The Community Editions of Visual Studio are free and they work great for this purpose. When using Visual Studio with Unity, the Visual Studio Tools for Unity extension is essential. We have a link to it on the modding wiki. Now that we have Visual Studio and Unity installed, the last thing we need is a Simple Planes Mod Tools package. This can be downloaded from the modding wiki page. Save the Unity package wherever you like. And now we're ready to get started creating our first mod. Let's get started by opening Unity. We're going to create a new project. If we're using Visual Studio, we want to go to the Asset Packages and import the Visual Studio 2013 tools. We're going to say Create Project. We now have an empty Unity project. The first thing we need to do is import the Simple Planes Mod Tools package. We go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. We're going to browse to where we saved the Simple Planes Mod Tools Unity package and select it. I'm going to say import to import everything. Now once these tools are imported, we'll notice there is a Simple Planes menu item at the top of the screen here. We're going to open the Mod Builder window and dock it off to the side here. At this point we can start creating our first mod. Every mod is going to need a name and an author. We'll leave the version number at 1.0. We'll say start creating mod. At this point we can try saving our mod. It's not going to do anything yet, but we can actually see it load in the game. So I'm going to say complete and save mod. I'm going to browse to the folder where Simple Planes looks for loading mods. This is in C, Users, your username, App Data, Local Low, Jundru, Simple Planes, Mods. I'm going to save it here. And then I'm going to open Simple Planes. We scroll down, and we can see our mod showing up in the mods list here. I'm going to need to select it. We can see the version number, the author name, and the name of the mod, and the path where it's found this mod. I'm going to enable it. The first time you enable a mod, you're going to get a warning. Click OK. And now we have our mod. It is currently active, though it does nothing. 
there's a couple more things we can do with this mod before we actually start adding some content. First, I'm going to give it a description. Then I want to give it a custom icon. If we hover over the icon path label here, we can see a little more information. It says a square image of 120 pixels or less works best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom icon uh, using paint.net. I'm going to resize the canvas here to 120 pixels by 120 pixels. And then we're going to give it some color. I am not very artistic. We're going to save this in our Unity project. I'm going to create a folder here called Textures. I'm going to call this Mod Icon. Let's say OK. Back to our Unity project, we can see it imported that texture for us. So now I need to link it up to the mod. This tells us our path here needs to look something like assets slash textures slash your texture name. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We saved it in assets, textures, and we called it modicon.png. I'm going to save the mod again. Okay, now let's see what it looks like. Let's open up Simple Planes, scroll down to the mod section. Anytime the mod gets rebuilt, you're going to need to re-enable it. As you can see here, it's disabled. It does not have our custom icon yet. If we click on it, here we can see our description did make it in. We're going to enable the mod, and now we can see that beautiful custom icon. And that pretty much concludes this first tutorial on getting started. Thanks for watching.